Hi, I'm Kenny with Entertaining Company and the Story Table, and today I would like to welcome you to our first episode of Styling with Kenny. Today's episode is really focused on the guy trying to impress his someone special at home through tablescapes. What you want to start with is creating that tone for the rest of the night. And what better way to do that than to design a charcuterie tray. Maybe you start with a small tray that has handles on it to keep it all very contained. Or, here's a freebie for you, what about an element you already have at home? Maybe it's a piece of artwork, maybe it's a frame, maybe it's a mirrored tray, which could also act as your actual charcuterie tray. What I'm going to do is start to build a tray for you so you can see what kind of elements you could actually present to the one you're trying to impress. So we'll start by cutting the cheese and you want to put that first chunk placed on the tray and then you're going to layer in your second style of cheese, maybe a smooth. Keeping in mind you want to have different textured cheeses, maybe something with a lot of color and texture, then you would layer that in as well. Then you're going to move in and start to put crackers on the tray, in and around the cheeses mostly. I'm going to start to place nuts around and maybe anchoring the cheese on the tray. Then you can end it, of course, with the big, full, beautiful strawberries as well as maybe a paste or a jam that you've incorporated into the tray. And then there you have it. You've got this beautifully presented charcuterie tray. Tapas and finger food. It's a great way to keep the romance going. We're talking about small bites, intimate pieces, stuff you can actually feed one another. As a caterer, designer, and stylist, I'm always thinking outside of the box when it comes to using cups as something more than just a beverage holder. For instance, I'm using the Tula cup here that's filled with cocktail sauce to build my shrimp cocktail, which I'm going to just hang over the edges of the cup. And then I'm gonna finish it off by dropping my lemon wedge in the center, and I've just created a shrimp cocktail in a cup. And then the other thing to think of, oh my God, in a pinch, you might wanna just grab a glass from your own, own cupboard, top it off with a plate, and move the party along by using it as a pedestal tray. All right, guys, we're nearing the finish line, and at the end of every meal is none other than dessert. I'm putting my designer hat back on to talk about color. And let's think about Chicago in winter and the neutral palette we face every day. What we can do is bring in some of the beauty of the sky by introducing the indigo colored napkin or the texture of birch to mimic the snow outside. Incorporate a bottle of port that brings in the richness of the Merlot color, as well as floral and even the food itself. All right, guys, we made it to the finish line. The rest is up to you. Light the candle, set the mood, and have a great time. I look forward to our next session at Styling with Kenny. Here are a few of my favorite things that I found on the story table to elevate tonight's intimate gathering from last minute food fest to savory feast. All of these can be found online at thestorytable.com. Aruna. I was immediately drawn to the matte metal finish of the Aruna from Delhi because that type of metal fits in beautifully amongst so many different decor aesthetics. Tula. We love Swedish designer Kasia Kramer's creative edge and remarkable detail. The subtle glaze on this trio of ceramic cups gives the otherwise minimalistic Scandinavian style Tula vessels uniqueness. Roberto and Vasa. Danish in origin, the Roberto and Vasa candle holders both pack a lot of style and packed in a little shape. And for us, a black and white palette is always right. Azizi. The Indian Azizi decanter adds a sophisticated touch to any bar or table, even while showcasing fruit-infused waters. Alley. With design heritage and fabric from Mali, discovered in San Francisco and finishing in Chicago, this set of Alley napkins is truly global in origin. Nano. The handcrafted nano metal napkin rings are Chicago gem by jewelry designer Nancy Deal. She created the Story Table's first table jewelry collection together with Wendy. The rest is history. 